welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirial and today we are going to be trying out the brand new Fenty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. I actually tweeted about this a while ago asking for Fenty to do this so not that I'm saying you know it was all me but it was all me. I really wanted them to do a hydrating foundation just because the original one really didn't work for my skin. I actually have combination to oily skin. I get dry end eyes and the rest of my face is pretty oily. But I'm a sucker for a dewy finish. Even though I'm gonna end up with a dewy finish within a few hours anyway, I still love the look of a fresh face. So I was hoping Fenty would come through and give us a hydrating option to the original one. And lo and behold, they did. I'm really excited to show you guys how this wears on my skin. Is it gonna last all day? Am I gonna look like a crazy oily mess? Am I a fool for thinking a hydrating foundation is gonna work for oily skin? We shall see. Obviously I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test, but before we get into the application, swatches, etc, if this is the first video that you've ever watched of mine, I hope you decide to stick around for the long run. If you want to, then you can just hit the red subscribe button and the bell button. I do loads of videos like this. Foundation is one of my favorite products to try, so I do loads of foundation reviews. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying the Conceal and Hydrate one from Makeup Revolution very soon. If you have any suggestions of foundations you'd like me to try, please leave it in the comments below. But yeah, let's get into the claims of this Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So this again comes in 50 shades and is supposed to replicate the shades that were in the original MAC foundation. So I picked up the shade 1110 and I got a little sample of it because I wanted to try it out before I bought the whole thing. See if this is actually going to be a good idea because as I said, I have oily skin, so maybe this is the worst idea of my life. I don't know. <laughs> but I want in too, okay? I want nice, natural, dewy looking skin as well. Why can't I have it all? So I picked up a little sample from Boots. You can just go in and ask for a sample, and they just put it in these little jars for you to take away. I will put a little picture of what the bottle looks like right here. It actually comes in a squeezy too, rather than the previous one. It came in a glass bottle. So they say it's the first of its kind hydrating longwear foundation. It's supposed to be comfortable, medium to full coverage. It's supposed to have a sweat and humidity resistant formula. Serious stay in power. It's perfect for normal to dry skin. Obviously I have oily skin so we're going to be testing that today. But the kind of finish that they're saying is it's not a dewy finish, it's a natural finish. So they put it as if like your skin has just had a much needed drink of water. It's got grapeseed oil in it which is supposed to be really good for the skin and it's not supposed to settle into fine lines or clog pores. So yeah that all sounds amazing, of course it does. <laughs> but let's put this baby to the test. First of all let's get into the arm swatches for some shade comparison and then let's get on to the rest of the video. All right, so here's some shade comparison. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation next to the Pro Filter Matte Foundation. As you can see, there's a slight difference in shade. The original one is just a little bit more pink than the new one, so that's something to take note. Next over is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F1. CYO Life Proof in the shade 101. Milani Conceal and Perfect 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade 00A Porcelain. L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Porcelain also. And then the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Blanc. Guys, I thought I was filming this whole freaking time. I haven't been. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> what a waste of foundation. I'm so pissed at myself, I can't even describe. <laughs> All right, so I am reprimed. Um, <laughs> I've just used the Origins Pore Perfecting Primer. As per usual with my foundation reviews and wear tests, I like to try a brush and a sponge. I really hope I like this foundation and I hope it wears well on my oily skin because I'm still trying to find a nice hydrating foundation that wears nicely on my skin type. I tried the original Fenty one and I do still have it and try it every now and again. That one just really didn't look good on my oily skin at all and I really hated it. So fingers crossed this one is a good one. If you're curious about the original Fenty foundation that I did a review on, I'll link it in the eye over here so you can go check that out. So because it's in one of these pots again, I'm just gonna dab a few dots over my face just like so. And let's see what kind of coverage we can get with the brush on this side. So it feels quite wet in consistency but super lightweight. Like I don't feel like I'm putting anything on my skin really once it kind of dries down down almost because even though it feels very moist going on the skin it doesn't stay that way which is great with the initial layer it's kind of light maybe virgin or medium coverage but you can still see all my freckles you can still see a bit of red spots coming through like I've got a mountain on my chin coming through and also on the middle of my forehead there I mean I don't see them playing rent 
I just think, I mean, it's rude. That's what it is. <laughs> but it does look really pretty on the skin. I wouldn't say this is crazy dewy on my skin, but it has a really nice sheen to it. I do want to do another layer though because this is not the amount of coverage that I would usually go for. I need a little bit more than this. I'm just gonna dot over a little bit more. Let's see how this builds. Okay, that has built up a little bit more. Still not the fullest coverage, but it's pretty much covered up everything. The kind of red spots over here have gone. My ginormous one here hasn't. <laughs> we need to talk about lodging with this one. Um, <laughs> my texture isn't accentuated, but it also isn't smoothed over. It just kind of looks like my skin. I think I need to use more of a smoothing primer with this one maybe, if I want that kind of effect. But it's not sitting in my pores, which is great. But now let's try it with the sponge. Again, let's just put a few dots. Over my face. And let's see how much coverage we can get with the sponge. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of light coverage with the sponge. We shall see. Actually, I'd say that's about the same coverage with the first layer of the brush. I think I prefer the finish with the sponge. It's just looking a little bit smoothed over than the brush. I may go over the brush side with the sponge because I do prefer the smoothness on this side. But I'm going to go in with one more layer with the sponge as well to give it a fair test. I don't feel like I need so much on this side. I think the coverage on the sponge just goes further, which is weird because usually it'd be the other way around. <laughs> Try covering this bad boy up. <laughs> I doubt I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I much prefer the smoothness of my skin on the sponge side, so I'm just gonna go over the brush side and just kind of hope that it'll smooth out with the sponge. Oh yeah, yeah, so much better finish-wise. It just gets rid of any unwanted texture that may be showing, and it helps it smooth over my pores. So I really love the way this currently looks on my skin. I know I look crazy because I haven't finished off my forehead. I'll do it in a second. You can see there's like that sheen to my skin and it looks really dewy, but it doesn't feel tacky, which is the craziest thing. There is a little bit of transfer when I touch my face, but the actual product itself, it's not like a wet texture at all. It's not kind of like pro glow where that kind of stays tacky on the skin. This does set down and not feel like a dewy foundation. To me, this almost feels like a natural demi-matte finish with pearlized glow to it. I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> but I do feel like I could blend my powders over top with no problem. I obviously will have to set because, I mean, oily skin, but I really like the finish of this. Don't see. okay. As far as application, I just think I'd go in with a sponge with this one. They got about the same amount of coverage with a sponge and a better finish. I would just go straight in with a sponge. Don't take offense, okay? I know I've been loving you recently, but not with this one. I'm gonna go finish up my forehead and then we'll call the check-in time. All right, so that looks really nice on my forehead. Again, I look like I've got a crazy dewy finish. <laughs> my mother is now hoovering downstairs, so I'm gonna finish up. <laughs> it's now 12.31, so let's call the check-in time at 12.30. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my face, and we'll see how this one goes. Because at the moment, I'm kind of feeling good about it. <laughs> look at the glow, oh my god. All right, you guys, so I just finished up my makeup. This is the finished look. <laughs> it's now just gone half past one, so it's been on for about an hour, but I just finished up my makeup and it's looking pretty good. It's again, not the fullest coverage, so I still can kind of see like my freckles and things coming through, but everything blended over quite nicely. I didn't have any issues. I didn't even set this part of my face and my powders blended over really easily. I did set my kind of T-zone area around here. My under eyes though are very dry <laughs> and I chose the wrong concealer to use when my eyes are feeling dry. I just realized I haven't put any highlight on, so I need to go do that. <laughs> Only one thing that I have noticed is my lines up here. Not that they're accentuated, but I can see them on my forehead. And I'm hoping it's not gonna settle in the lines. It just hasn't, you know, helped them that much. <laughs> it is looking a little bit makeup-y on my pores by here. Maybe that's the powder that I used, but overall, it's pretty nice. I'm hoping it's gonna warm up a little bit more to my skin. So yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in a little bit. So basically what had happened was uh, life happened and I didn't do a midday update. So we are currently at the 10 hour mark around about just under 10 hours. When was my check-in time? Was it half past 12? I don't even know. My mind is so confuzzled right now. <laughs> it's now 10 o'clock in the evening. And I know for a fact my face looks absolutely terrible because it feels terrible. <laughs> I know this foundation wasn't made for my skin, but I really like the way that it looked in the beginning. I love the finish of it, and now I just feel like my whole face is heavy. So let's, 
I mean, let's see the damage, okay? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I did look at it around the four hour mark and it was looking kind of bobbly around my lips then, but not oily. I don't feel like this one wears that well on my skin anyway. It kind of started getting a little bit textured and looked kind of dry almost around the four hour mark. And that kind of texture has continued, but I've just got oily throughout the day. I feel like my face is just kind of eaten at the whole foundation. It's very bobbly and weird and looking textured, especially around my top lip. My nose is pretty much gone. There's nothing left on my forehead. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pretty much an oily mess and it's kind of collected around my nose. Basically, it's just gone to shit. <laughs> I really did like the way it initially applied though and I did like the way it looked. Because this may be a short video, I do want to try it another day. So I may try this tomorrow maybe with a different primer and then see how it lasts. It may be in a more casual style, like vlog style with my phone or something. Because this, well, it's, it's, not, it's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, conclusion for today is it looks pretty on first application, but it really hasn't lasted that well on my skin. So I don't know, maybe different primers and things will help it. If I try this tomorrow, I'll add the clips in by here for you guys. So yeah, future Kiriel, how how we looking? <laughs> hey guys, so this is day two of wearing this foundation. And it's looking pretty good again on first application. It applied really well and it looks really nice on the skin. I look very dewy and glowy, but my face is evened out and everything. I used a different primer today. I used a pore filling primer and also I used my Barry M Unicorn Drops that is like tacky, so it really keeps the foundation in place. We shall see if this helps this last any longer on my skin. I'm using the front facing camera, so it's not gonna be as HD as my Canon. <laughs> But my skin looks really nice. It looks really glowy. I still have my friends in the middle of my forehead and on my chin. But it's looking pretty good right now. Fingers crossed it stays looking like this for longer than it did yesterday. <laughs> hey guys, so I've now had this on for about eight hours. It's now ten past eight and I did my first check-in around 12 o'clock. So again, it's another pretty much full working day wet yesterday and it's not looking as bad as it was yesterday <laughs> ignore my mouth by the way i've uh, eaten so my lipsticks all come off <laughs> my face is just obviously very dewy very oily once again it's not doing that weird bobbly thing i'm just looking very <laughs> very oily like my nose is really bad today my under eyes are so dry as well Ugh. someone suggest a good eye cream for me please <laughs> it has lasted a lot longer this time around but it is just like <laughs> the transfer is insane it just literally wipes off and that's probably just because it's not meant for oily skin <laughs> but i wanted to try it anyway so yeah I'll try and get some more HD clips of what my face looks like and insert it over the top of this footage. But yeah, I just look like an oily mess and I don't know if I like this one. I'm still in search of having that foundation that gives me that nice dewy glow without breaking down and just completely rejecting my oily ass skin. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for me. Uh, let's go to Kiriel from the past. <laughs> I cannot wait to wash my face. Alright you guys, I hope you appreciated this wet test and try on of the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. I was hoping I was going to like it again, maybe my thoughts will change when I try it a little bit more, but at the moment it's not looking the best right now. <laughs> if you do enjoy foundation reviews, then please leave a thumbs up on the video just so I know. If you like stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button and you'll get notified of all my future uploads. I don't always look like an oily mess like this, okay? But yeah, if you are interested in any future foundation releases, leave suggestions down below below and subscribe. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go wash my face and hopefully wash away all the sins of the day. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. And then the hourglass, and then the hourglass, and then the hourglass, oh my God. So as per usual with my foundation reviews, I'm gonna be doing, mm -mm. I wouldn't say this is crazy doing, D doing, <laughs> just get, it just gets a really. What am I saying? But this is now. It's now.